up you guys, Isaac with a chance here for my 96 video review. And today we're going to be looking at the Transformers Studio Series Leader Class Constructicon Scavenger from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. So for the pack you got this very cool open window of Scavenger in here and you and you see an image of him here and um, his name is Constructicon Scavenger and he is from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen and he was made by Hasbro. On the side, um, you get another image, a nice image of Scavenger. He is number 55. Um, and um, here's, um, here's um, Devastator, an image of Devastator here. And on the back of the package, you get to see, you see Scavenger in his robot mode, in his um, whatever kind of constructed mode that it is. And he transforms in 25 steps. And he is from the Pyramid. The, he's from the same thing, Pyramid Desert Battle. And it says the same bottle here as other constructor cards. It says, um, it says the desert, it says the desert sand quakes as constructor con, dev, sorry, constructor con scavenger combines with his comrades to form constructor con devastator. So not so much to say about the, so I think that's it. So, so for the package of Devastator, I'm sorry, not Devastator, sorry, Scavenger. <laughs> My bad. So for the package of Scavenger, that's about it. So let me get this big boy out here and see how awesome and movie accurate he actually is. So here we have Scavenger open up and out of his package and also in his construction vehicle mode, which I don't know what kind of construction vehicle mode it is right now. But this is a really nice representation of Scavenger from the movie, and this is really nice. Um, it ain't gonna be well. Basically, it's nothing much. It ain't gonna be probably nothing much to say about it. So, um, so this is um, his vehicle mode. So, to take a look at the vehicle mode, it looks pretty. It looks pretty huge. This is a big. A big construction vehicle this is a huge one um, and yeah and yeah he has his little claw, his little claws there um, so so scavenger so scavenger so he does come he does um he has this he has really nice paint applications like he has the red and the gray and the silver most of the red and and on the back here See, does, does this look like a construction vehicle to you? Hmm, sort of. Not even close. But it is what it is. This is a, so. Uh, what I enjoy about the figure is the red. I like the red color, and I love the red here. And here's his little. Um, I think that's his little staircase. And we have another staircase right about here. I think this is. I think these are stair. I think these are stairs or something. I don't know, but. Um. And yes, you can see his little head right here. And the tires look pretty nice. They can actually roll. And 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 also he does have articulation with the so he does have some articulation. Um he can um like bend his um little arms and hand down or claws down. Um and then you can actually um just do this. It's your it's your figure. Do whatever you want with it, and he actually can do this as well. Um, and and the top here looks pretty pretty nice. I love the window window here, and the window on this side. And yeah, nothing much to say anyway about the vehicle. So he does come with. He does come. He doesn't really come with accessories anyway, because most these constructor cons don't even come with um, weapons anyway. Um, so he does come with the same exact, um, the same exact backdrop as the constructor cons have. And you see this little, this little black shadow of, um, of Devastator, and you see the pyramid, and this is where the final battle took place in Revenge of the Fallen. And he does come with his little menu. He does come with his menu, like, like. Like other Transformers Studio Series figures do, and um, you can actually. Um, I don't really look in the menu, so let me see what else they got. Um. <coughs> hmm, that's all. So, and here, here are the parts of Devastator, right here. 
So the last two, like I said, the last the last two I need is long haul and um, overload, and then we're good to go to start putting Devastator together. I might put, I might put um, him and I might put Scavenger either in this robot mode or his little combiner mode, but I'll let you guys know. So let's get into transformation. So we're gonna put Scavenger in his combiner mode. So. So for transformation into combiner mode, first what you want to do is I just like leave the, I just like take the head out. Okay, I'll just leave it. It don't really matter. First, what you want to do is go ahead and just grab these pieces, separate these, separate these, and um, with this piece, just probably just leave it. And what you want to do is go ahead and tab, tab this piece to this piece. It'll tab all the way in and do the same on this side. Tab, wait, tab that in. And then come around, um, and come around here to, and take, and take the wheel. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry. Let's try that again. Take the wheels, put it up like so. Do the same on this side, just like that. And then come around uh, here to separate everything from the, from the body. Well, I'm sorry, the uh, vehicle mode. Oops. Be very gentle. And you want to go ahead and close these. Close these together. And oh yeah, and and then you want, and with the arms. Yeah, close that. And then you just want to put this down, just like. Oh yeah, I got it right. Okay, you want to put that down and rotate his um his arm. Just like that. Do the same on this side. Put the arm right there. I'm sorry, hold on. Grab the arm, tap it in, rotate this. All the way around. Oh wait, this is in the way. That's my fault. And now you can. Oops. Do that on that side. And um, what you want to do is go ahead and. Hang on, let me look at the menu first. I get confused with the combined modes most of the times. All right. And you just wanna grab this, grab this piece, open that, grab this piece, open that, and you just come around down here to this section and then what you want to do is go ahead and tab these in make sure I got everything right and with the um, with with this piece um, you just want to just like like push it down just like that but you have to put the head in, put it down just like so. Wait, make sure we yeah, want to make sure I got it right. You want to. One sec. 
This is confusing. I'm always confused with these combined modes these t these days. Yeah, I don't even know. It's as far as I can get. Oh, wait, 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 wait. And you just want to grab this. I forgot this one piece. Forgot these pieces. Um, first, what you want to do is grab these uh, pieces. Um, you just want to just put that in. Put that in. Put this piece in. Oh, wait. Grab this piece, put that in. Oh, wait a minute. Now I know what I'm doing. Okay. I'm going to grab this piece. Okay, there we go. Just want to put this down, put that down. And you want to grab this piece and put it down just like that. And then here it is, I'm hoping, and I don't know what to do with this. Okay, it don't really matter, but and when you're done, here is, so I apologize about that. I get I got confused a little bit, but it's all good. But in here you have, he have the, now here you have Scavenger in his combiner mode. Now, this combiner mode looks really nice, and I think they did a really, I think this is, uh, so right here, I know Mixmaster is going to go right here, and he's going to come with his arms, and, and one of these pieces well, mostly, and I think one of the sides is going to be, um, well, I'll just put his face down right there. Um, so what I enjoy about this combiner mode is, um, Devastator can actually combine with his forms. I'm actually really excited to put Devastator together by the time I find, by the time I get, um, um, what's his name? Um, Long Haul and Overload by the time I get them after I review them both. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna make a studio, I'm actually, I am, I act, I'm actually, I'm gonna be making a, a studio series video about putting Devastator together, and that's it. So, so I think that, I think this is a really, really nice, uh, combiner mode. This is his little, I think this is his stomach and, his stomach and chest and, and shoulder area, so let's get Scavenger into his robot mode. So... So, so for transformation, but for what I just said about the uh, about putting the constructor cons in the combined modes, I still t I just take that I just took it back anyway. So just just ignore what I, for what I just said. Um, some yeah, but yeah, it's true. Sometimes I get a little confused sometimes about it, but it don't really matter. It is what it is. So to put um scavenger in his uh, robot mode, first what you want to do is go ahead and just attach this because this is really easy to do. To put him in his robot mode, you want to grab this piece, put it up just like that, and rotate. Oh, let me see the box. Yeah, okay, I got it right, I think. Um, and you just want to grab this, grab these pieces, and you just want to close it. And you just want to grab the, this piece. Extend that out. Take this out. Um, you just want to, and then you just grab this. 
Oh, wait. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Spin that around. Things just got in the way. And you just want to um, go ahead and uh, put this together. Just like so. Oh, wait. Close that. And you just want to close this. I need to know what I'm doing. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to see when I'm... Okay. Okay, now I know what I'm doing. So you just want to put this together. Put that together. Uh-oh. It's not going to stay in, believe me. Give that a really nice squeeze together. Oh, I'll have to mess with these tires later. Just want to put his head out. And you just grab. Um, you just want to just... Do I spin these around? Yeah, you spin these around. Just like that, I believe. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you just want to grab this piece. Grab this piece, and you just, oh yeah, rotate it. Want to grab this, and you just want to put this down, just like that. So now I know what I'm doing. So, and you just want to grab this other piece out. Want to grab this piece. And rotate it. And you just want to put this down just like that. Put this back up. And you just want to just turn this uh, turn this around just like that. And you just take his little claws out. And you just want to grab this piece and put that there. And with this piece, I don't really know. It just stays there. And the rest, and the rest you just want to grab this. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I don't know why this keeps coming apart. I'll have to fix that later. And you just want to grab, I'm sorry, grab this piece, put that to the side, put this down, and you just, and you just want to grab this piece. And you just want to grab that piece, put this down just like that, put that there, put this there. This keeps falling apart and I don't know why. Okay, we're going to have to put you back together. Oh well, I'll just have to. Oh well, I'll just have to uh, mess with the top, mess with the wheels. Wait. Oh well, I'll just have to mess with these later, and then yeah, be. They just don't want to stay together, but it don't really matter. And when you're done, there you have Scavenger 
So there you have the the Constructicon scavenger in his robot mode. So now um, I did figure out um, what the problem is. I forgot to attach this piece, and so it don't really matter. It is what it is. So your scavenger in his robot mode. And this and this this is a really good representation of of scavenger from the movie. This is way better than the original one. I mean, I think we might get a um a a um I think we might get a um a um I think we might get a repaint of this Demol who's named Demolisher from who's named Demolisher from Revenge of the from Transformers: Revenge of the Fallen, and I think we might, I think we are, I think we might get a a repaint and retool of this, which is I don't really know, but this is a nice looking representation of Scavenger. It ain't gonna be nothing much to say about the robot mode, and the rest of the robot mode looks pretty nice, and I think this is way better than High Towers. Um, I know High Tower Mixmaster is probably nobody's favorite Constructicon, and this is when he appeared, this is the guy that appeared in, um, well, him and, well, Scavenger and Demolisher both have the same robot mode and vehicle modes, so this is the guy that, um, um, appeared in the beginning of Revenge, in the, in the beginning of the film, um, in the, um, Shanghai battle, yeah, um, so, this is, and also, to take a look at the head sculpt, the head sculpt looks pretty nice, and I think he has the, he has, so he does have the, the, uh, the golden eyes, he does have golden eyes, and the face sculpt is completely creepy, no, I'm kidding, but it does look, it looks, um, um, creepy looking, looks scary looking, and, and, yeah, you put, yeah, you have the wheel up here, <laughs> looks, looks, looks pretty nice and for articulation he can um move his um head a little he can look up and down um he can do this oh i gotta be careful and do that i mean if i'm gonna yeah but and um he can move his arms he can move them up just like that like like he's like he's throwing cars or sm or probably smashing or running over in the cars and stuff. Oops. And 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 the claws. Do, and I really like the claws cuz these claws can actually help him stand up. So you don't have to um worry about him not standing up. Wow. So, I guess So I guess this is um a really nice figure. So, he can actually stand up well. I'm hoping, but he I think I heard he can stand up with these claws. Um, these claws can actually help him stand up. So, <clears throat> really nothing much to say about the, um, about the figure. So, I, the rest of the robot mode and the, um, combiner modes do look pretty nice. And I can't wait to put Devastator together. So, so that's all I gotta say for this toy review. Um, yeah, toy review for, for Scavenger. And nothing much to say about him. So I think that's all I gotta say for him. So be sure to, yeah, yeah, that's it. So so be sure to like and subscribe, press notifications, and follow me on Instagram and comment and comment down below. And I'll see and I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.